Greetings and salutations, everyone. I am Kimberly of the West Florida Public Library, here to talk to you about our 2021 Summer STEAM program for Week 8, A Bard's Tale. You'll find all of your materials for the crafts in your Week 8 bag that you'll pick up at any of our West Florida Public Library locations. On Week 8, we'll have our pan flute here, and it'll come with the straws, the popsicle sticks, and rubber band you'll need to construct it. Uh, refer back to your Week 1 Maker's Box for uh, scissors and rulers and things like that you'll need to construct all of these with. Uh, you'll have our rainbow fish here that uh, Miss Lindsay will teach you later how to construct this with your construction paper. You'll have a, a googly eye and a CD to paste it all on. We also have a binder clip catapult that Mr. Allen will teach you about later along with the pan flute which comes with zip ties, uh, a binder clip, and popsicle sticks to make your very own catapult here. So when you're done having fun with all of these, you'll make sure to look at the bottom for the Beanstack code to get your badges on the Beanstack app and visit mywfpl.com for more information about our programs and we'll see you next time. Greetings everybody, this is Mr. Allen with the West Florida Public Library and we are back here with another Summer Steam Challenge. This is our Week 8 Pan Flute Challenge and, uh, and Craft. This week's uh, Beanstack code is FLUTE, F-L-U-T-E and that's redeemable on Beanstack. Uh, you can go through our library website at mywfpl.com to get started on that. First of all, we're going to have an instruction sheet. It's also going to include our passcode. Passcode is flute for this challenge. And then we are going to have our crafting items here. And we're going to need these as well. So uh, we're going to need scissors. Uh, yours should have been included in our uh, week one uh, maker kit. We're going to have glue dots. We're going to have three straws. We're going to have a rubber band and we're going to have two uh, popsicle sticks. And this is our pan flute craft. So we're going to get started by moving our rubber band to the side here because that's towards the end there. We're going to move our um, glue dots a little bit to the side. And then we're going to start by cutting uh, one of our straws here in about mm, two thirds length. If I can get it to work. There we go. These are some really good straws, by the way. Uh, and then we are going to cut about an inch off the bottom of one of our other straws. So when we're done, we should have five pieces of straws laid out here. And I'm just going to sort of stack those in order from longest to shortest. Just sort of give us a dry fit of... Um, Our straw craft here. Okay. Okay. Alrighty. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our glue dots here. And we're going to glue dots. Sticky. And stick one to a straw here. These. These are going to go on the inside of each straw. So I can stick the straws together like that. And it's pretty good there. See, it's holding it on there. All right. And I'm going to repeat the same here. Ah, come on. Sticky. Okay. And then we're going to have that one. And 
a minute, I'm going to put these two uh, sections together here. So my big side to my bigger side. Okay. And we're going to take one more here. We're going to stick this sort of long one onto the full size straw. And the way this works is that each one of them should be producing slightly different tonal difference when you blow into them. We're going to find that out once we get it together here. Uh, we're going to use these um, popsicle sticks here. Uh, a little higher there. To um, provide some reinforcement. Take a the whole thing up now, and I am going to wrap the uh, rubber band around the two obstacle sticks. That tension on the rubber band and the popsicle sticks should be enough to hold it together. See? Hey, thank you for joining us for our uh, week eight uh, summer steam challenge here. Uh, our pan and flute craft. Uh, these crafts will be made available July 26 at all of our West Florida Public Library branches. And uh, have fun! Good morning, everybody. This is Mr. Owen with the West Florida Public Library, and today we are uh, going over our binder clip catapult. This is part of our Week 8 craft kit. So let's take a look at what we have for this craft. Uh, first of all, you will need a pair of scissors. Uh, this should have come in your uh, kickoff kit. We will have popsicle sticks. Uh, this craft requires a minimum of four, uh, but there are some alternates to this. Um, then we have a number of zip ties. It should include six. Um, we have a binder clip. Uh, and then we have our ammo, which are our sticky lizards. We're going to put our sticky lizards to the side here. Okay, it also includes a uh, instruction sheet. So let's get in there. So I'm going to grab a couple of popsicle sticks. I'm going to grab a zip tie. And I'm going to start my zip tie here. I'm going to start my zip tie here. Thread it through a little bit, get it nice and started. And I'm going to start a second one. And all it is is threading this end through this little outlet. And it'll make little clicking sounds. All right. And then we're going to place one end on one on this end. And do it loosely because we've got to do something important here in a second. And then we're going to do the same thing on this end. And all of this is, you know, getting geared up to the next part. Next, we are going to take our binder clip and I'm going to pull back one of the arms here. And then we are going to sandwich that arm of the binder clip in between the uh, popsicle sticks. And if you notice, what I'm doing here is that I'm actually sliding this popsicle stick closest to the binder clip back a little bit because this lip will pinch it. So, and it, it won't be tight. So, I'm going to tighten that up just a little bit, flip it over, and that's our first half. Yay! Okay, tighten that up a little bit because we don't want things lying around in the progress here. Okay. And then we're going to repeat our first step with our other arm. So I'm going to start another zip tie here. And a second one. We're going to grab our popsicle sticks. And 
We're going to do the same thing on the other side. Slide those up just a touch. All right. So what we got here is our loose uh, zip tie on our popsicle sticks. We're going to sandwich that arm in between them, just like we did on the other side. Then we are going to pull it tight. And that's the key. We're going to pull it tight. And flip it over, and that becomes the basis for our catapult here. At this moment, uh, we're going to take an extra step here. Because remember, we have six, six uh, zip ties. So this will help secure everything here in which we're going to loop our zip tie through the bottom of our binder clip. And that's to the center, like that. And then we're going to tighten it up just a touch. And we're going to make sure we try to get that zip tie over that end of the popsicle stick. And there's a couple other ways we can achieve this, but um, if you find this working loose, you can also thread it in between the popsicle sticks themselves or thread it between that zip tie there. And we're going to do the same thing for the other side. Thread that zip tie through the binder clip itself. This one, I'm going to go higher and Get that little knob on that other zip tie and see if I can create a more secure way of doing this. Remember that this is all experimental. I mean, it's safe, but you know, there's more ways to do things. Okay, and that is our semi constructed catapult right there. We're going to get rid of these little bits. Remember, before you do that, you want to tighten all of your zip ties as tight as possible. Uh, if it doesn't look like they're tight, uh, get mom, dad, a grandparent, an older sibling to help you with this. And that is the last of our Zip ties right there. And as it work, you place your finger and you pull down on the top like that. All right, this is our finished binder clip catapult. It was our part of our week eight craft kit. Uh, to claim your uh, reward for this challenge, Visit uh, mywestfloridapubliclibraries.com, choose the Beanstack, log in, and uh, this week's password was catapult. Thank you for joining us, and have a great day. Welcome to week eight. Summer's almost over, but we have a few more crafts left for you. So today we will be working on our rainbow fish weave. What you're going to need today? At least two half sheets of construction paper. Since it's the end of the summer and I have a few extra pieces left over, I'll be using some extra colors. We're also going to have our ruler, either a marker or a pencil, scissors, one craft die, a CD, and a glue stick. If you remember making a turtle, from week three, it's going to be very similar to that. I'm going to start with my half sheet of paper and mark out one inch lines on it. Again, this time we're going to leave one inch at the very end that we're not going to cut. So it's going to look like this. So it's going to look like this and then we'll go ahead and cut it out right perfect now that we have those cut out i have three other colors that i'm using but what you need to make sure that you have is six one inch strips from the short side of the paper all right 
So this time it can get a little bit messy, so we're going to put a piece of scrap paper down. And I'm going to take my first strip and glue it on both sides. And then I'm going to leave it into the paper. So it's going to go under, over, under, over, under, over, pull it to the end, and press down. Right? Making sure that it's all lined up. And then we're going to move on to our next color. Do the same thing, put glue on it. Do the front. Glue the back. And then this time we started with weaving it under, so we're going to start with weaving it over, see, over, under, over, under, over, under. Pull it right next to the pink one, and press down. We're going to do that with the next four strips, then we'll be back. Remember, since we are using glue on both sides, that you're going to want to put it on either scrap paper or old newspaper. All right. Now we're going to let this dry and wait until all of the glue turns clear. Why we let this dry, I'll tell you some fun facts. So all the fish that live in the Gulf Coast are saltwater fish. Now that that has had some time to dry, flip it over to its back and put some glue on our CD. Make sure that you get those edges really well. Once we have our CD ready, we place it in the middle of our paper. Right, this time it's a little bit different from the turtle because we're going to cut out the shape of the fish. So we can draw in our top fin, our bottom fin, our tail fin, and we'll even give our fish a little lips, a mouth. Then we're going to cut that out. And ta-da! We have our fish! Look at him. So he has his lips, top fin, which is his dorsal fin, his tail fins, his pelvic fins, and then you can even draw on a dorsal fin and his gills there. You can peel off the eye and stick that on and draw his pectoral fin along with his gills and there's our fish i hope y'all had a great summer we look forward to seeing you in the fall don't forget to use code fish on beanstack and you can Always reach Beanstack at mywfpl.com or through the mobile app. Again, that's code FISH on Beanstack.